season. And Greg, when you were playing, is there an opening day that really stands out in your mind? Uh, back in 95, I think it was, when we started the season with, with back-to-back wins, it, the team was feeling good. Then we uh, promptly lost 21 straight. Well, look at the 76ers starting group. On the block, it's Tucker next to Embiid. Tyrese Maxey out there with Harden, and it's Melton in at the small forward. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And there aren't many players with a quicker first step than Tyrese Maxey. And I love the way he uses it to his advantage, Greg. I mean, he's got an athletic advantage over most of the guys that are defending him, and he'll exploit it every chance he gets. But that quick first step and fearlessness, lethal combination. And the first one at the line is good. Well, certainly, Clark, the 76ers, the past few seasons, have given their fans plenty to feel good about. Yeah, and you know, those Philly fans are really hard to please. They have great expectations and knowledge to go along with it. Uh, but you're right. I mean, it's been much easier to look on the bright side in Philly recently. The talent and results have been trending up in recent years. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Christie with a screen on Hart. Over to the wing. Christie, the best, the Schroeder. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And when you think about veteran guard Dennis Schroeder, Still such a shifty, unpredictable player. Yeah, he really is because of the way he can change gears and play at different speeds. Very impressive. At his best when he's putting blinding speed to use. He doesn't always unleash it, but when he does, it's very effective. First one falls for him. One of my favorite eras in NBA history, Clark, the 80s Showtime Lakers. Man, I played against those guys. Thankfully, it was just twice a year because we were in the Eastern Conference. But those dudes were unbelievable. Magic running the point. Kareem still playing at a high level down low. Worthy finding his stride and finishing the break. They didn't just win titles. Showtime had a flavor that was fun to watch if you weren't being run out of the building by him. Now, here's Melton. That's to Maxie. Lock at six. He dishes it to Embiid. Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. And the three off target. Here's Toscano Anderson, guarded by Harden. The shot's good from Christie. Yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. Yeah, that's how he rolls. I mean, intimidate the opponent right now. Now here's Harden. Floats one. Harden draws the double, and Bede kicks to Melton. Ball's not loose. Harden outside. Trains it from beyond the arc. You know, everybody knows Harden is lights out from behind the arc, so you, if you're defending him, you've got to take that away. Bryant with a screen for Schroeder over Harden, and the rejection by Embiid. Harden surveying the D. Embiid sets the pick for Harden. Passes it to Maxi. Now Embiid. Shoots a fader, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. And, and his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a common effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Now here's James. His last outing, he had 24 points. And there's the call on Joel Embiid. That's his first foul. Embiid with the steal. And he was camped in just the right spot to swipe that pass away down low. Harden draws the double. There's the triple. A nice shot by Tucker. You know, Harden's done a nice job really increasing his playmaking over the last few years and excels at finding teammates. LeBron passes to Christie. 
screen by James. With some art. Christie can't make it. Philadelphia with the ball. It's been eight unanswered points for him. Oh, and he pops it off the glass. Wow. Tucker, the pass to Melton. Tries again. Rose Schroeder. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Bryant with a screen for Schroeder. Now the pass to Bryant. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one on MB. Hey, there's no denying the direction in Philly. They want to win now. The Sixers have an attitude coming from their front office that they want to get it done now, and I like seeing that. Shooting two. That one is off. And for the 76ers organization, the expectation is, of course, Clark, a championship. And that's where the expectation should be when you have a potential MVP in Joel Embiid. I mean, he's been an MVP candidate multiple seasons in a row. I think the Sixers should be thinking tight. You know, you think of the Lakers leading up to LeBron James joining them. This was a team that struggled for relevancy. And even during Kobe Bryant's final seasons there, they still were a little below par for the Lakers. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Off the inbound. And he can't bank that one in. Embiid, no good. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. Cloak loose. To the wing right side. LeBron outside. From deep. No good on that one. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Clark, as you recall, the Lakers had missed the playoffs the last few years, leading up to LeBron James actually joining them. And you know what, Kevin? They missed it in year one of the King in L.A. as well. Some of that due to injury, but nonetheless, not part of the playoffs. Despite the bubble title, it's been a challenge for LeBron during his time with the Lakers. Last year, extremely frustrating. And I'm sure they want this season to be different. So the Lakers call timeout their first. Take a look at the numbers for MB. He's coming off an excellent season. Last season put up about 30 points a game, 11 rebounds, and four assists. You can't understate his impact on the backboards. Right. I mean, that's where he's one of the best in the business. Hard to outfight him on the glass. To the paint gets it to go that one good for melton oh great ball movement there lakers trail by 10 pass to james 
score of the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. You know, LeBron in the paint, I think, is major trouble for just about every defender. He can power his way to the basket, or he can pass you into being dizzy. Now here's Harden. He's got six. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. And the 76ers with possession. They're on a 17-7 run. He feeds it to Embiid. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Embiid's got his second basket. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard. And they are landing some haymakers now. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Harden can't hit. Lakers trail by 10. Here's Christie. Harden grabs the miss. Well, you know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. He can't hit that shot. And the Lakers take it the other way. Takes the three. And the three ball is good. Christie's got it back down to within single digits for the Lakers. And, you know, we all know Schroeder can score now, but they're a nice assist to his wide-open teammate. Harden outside, Maxi. Maxi got the loose ball, but that will be a backcourt violation. Here are the top distributors from last season. These guys always seem to find the open man. James Harden is second. Very few guys pass the ball better than he did. I mean, he didn't just have eyes in the back of his head. It's almost as if he had them on both sides, too. Now LeBron. From 12 feet out. Good D by Embiid. Philadelphia leading by seven. Bobbed up there for Embiid. And stolen by James. Out left of the wing. Here's Schroeder. Six to shoot. The shot by Bryant, no good. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to um, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. He is such a well-coordinated, fluid athlete for his side. Joel Embiid blocks a lot of shots and probably changes even more. And it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. When Joel Embiid entered the NBA, many questioned if he would be able to overcome the devastating injuries. Well, you know, he didn't play his first two years in the league. Those questions were fair to ask. I mean, is this guy ever going to get on the court? But once he did, oh my, a monster. I've not seen a big guy do the stuff Joel Embiid can do. It's actually insane. Harden's shot is off. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Schroeder against Harden. And that one's good. Schroeder. Well, that's just an intelligent play call by Schroeder. They're using the pick to get himself a good look. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here.
And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. And then for Philadelphia, George Niang is checked in for P.J. Tucker. Matisse Thibel comes in for Milton. And it's Jake Milton in for Maxi. And Philadelphia has possession. Leading by five. Harden against none. Makes it off the glass. Harden's got ten points. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. There's the screen. Westbrook passes to Gabriel. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. None can't get it to fall. The 76ers leading by seven. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Los Angeles' head coach gave me a few minutes. Hey, look, he knows they've got great shooters who can score from anywhere in distance. He thinks his team can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody in the league there. And he won't be pulling back the reins even if they start missing a few. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. Always want to get those threes falling consistently. And here is Brown. James Harden getting it to go from deep. Six on the shot clock. Gabriel shots good. You know, passes like that go a long way. Terrific teamwork. And here is Harden. He's got 13. Harden with a screen on Brown. Out to the right wing. Embiid, no good. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Outside Westbrook. One thirty-one left to play here in the first. Shoots from 12. His first shot is a miss. 0 for 1 to start the contest. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Eight-point game. Shock up two there. Yet another hard shot that Harden makes look easy. Amazing at measuring the floating jumper. Now here's Westbrook. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. His three-pointers off the mark. Now here's Milton. Back to Harden. Missed it. He's now made six of ten from the field. Los Angeles has gone a meager 1 of 6 from three point land since we got started tonight. Round kicks to Westbrook. They set the pick. Fires top of the key. Westbrook missing again. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. None against Harden. Embiid with a screen on none. Here's Niang. A three-pointer off the mark. So it's Philadelphia going into the break with a 10-point lead. They've done a lot of great work from long range. And we'll be back with you shortly. Glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. Cultivating a lot of assists right now, which is beautiful to see. Love the way they're working that ball around. So to begin the second quarter for the Philadelphia 76ers, Jake Milton is out there with Tyrese Maxey. Then it's Montrez Harrell. Then there's Matisse Thibel. And it's Niang in at the four spot. 
Right, we know the league's cracking down on those dangerous plays that risk the player's health. Why was that less of a focus when you play? Uh, that's a great question. You know, I think it's smarter to approach the game this way. We, we don't want to have unnecessary injury because of guys maybe just taking it a little too far with the physicality. Now here's Westbrook. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. The drive by James. Well, that's one man never afraid to punch it. Give LeBron a path to the bucket. And the finish is going to be something in a poster. Milton kicks to Maxi. Over none. Maxi, no good. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. None looking around. For the three. Count it, and the 76ers lead has been cut to just five on the basket from James. Well, I don't think anybody is expecting this shot. LeBron showing some confidence with that long ball. Now, here's Maxi. Pass to Milton. Carroll a screen on West. Here's Milton. Here's Maxi. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. James with it. 11 points in the game. No dice from nine feet out. Feibel, the pass to Milton. Harrell a screen on Weston. The dish to Harrell. And Harrell screws it in. Boy, great movement by Harrell rolling off the pick that time. Gets himself into a good scoring position there. Westbrook fires James. Down low. And that one is hammered home. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. Pass to Thibel. And that's a foul, and it's called on Troy Brown. That is his first foul of the game. Bowl, the pass to Maxi. Drives to the hoop. Over none. And the 76ers tack on two more. I tell you what, I can't argue with the result. But a little unnecessary to go to the off balance shot there. Westbrook passes to LeBron. And LeBron pulls it down hard. Oh, okay. I guess LeBron wanted that one to sting a little. He put a little extra on that one. As one of the biggest stars in the NBA, Russell Westbrook Clark puts a lot of energy into his charity work. Yeah, he really does, and I don't know how many people really recognize that, but I know he's appreciated for it. He started the Why Not Foundation to help underserved communities, and they're doing some great work. Russ said, Why Not has always been his attitude whenever he's pursuing a tough goal, and thus he named his foundation the same way. Dennis Schroeder's checked in for Los Angeles. And the 76ers also making a change. James Harden, he's checked in for Shake Milton. Hakers on D. They trail by seven. Brown with it, and it's Harden picking him up. Brown kicks to LeBron. And there's the pass to Schroeder. Lock at six. Gabriel, the pass to LeBron. Rebound by the 76ers. Harden's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's the three. The 76ers again can't hit it. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's Schroeder out of bounds. It'll be 76ers ball. Here is the 2K leaderboard with the list of last season's top three-point shooters. In the third spot, Tyrese Maxey. The bucket must have looked three feet wide to him last year. I mean, very deserving in terms of that spot among the league leaders from three. Schroeder against Harden. Knocks it loose. 
And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. And let's check out stats for James. Last season, he played outstanding. How about 30 points per game? Eight rebounds and six assists. And you can't downplay the importance of good size off the bench. <laughs> Space invader, a big guy who simply holds his ground and makes opponents work around him. That's good stuff. Harden against Schroeder. Outside, Maxi. Good, it's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got four assists now tonight. LeBron James on the wing. Back to Schroeder. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Six points for Dennis Schroeder. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Thibault kicks to Harden. Back to Thibault. Outside Maxi. Three-pointer. That one doesn't drop. Lakers trail by eight. Here's Brown. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. James outside. Here's the screen. A shot that time, not on target. Now the 76ers take it the other way. They've held a 12-point lead early. Harden up top. He's guarded by Schroeder. Harden, no good. And so it's none with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. Following this one, they get to host the Rockets. And that will be the third of five straight played at home. Shot clock at six. From 13. Here's Gabriel. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. Sometimes, for whatever reason, a lot of times you, you don't know why. It takes a little while to work the knots out, but it looks like they're putting it together right now. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Thomas Bryant, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Descano Anderson comes in for LeBron. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for the 76ers. DeAnthony Melton comes in for Matisse Thibel. Throw good, Maxi. Lakers trail by nine. Now Schroeder, he's got six. Pass to Bryant. Pass to none. Out of bounds. It'll be 76ers ball. And they were in the top ten in field goal percentage. Really felt their players understood the value of a good shot and the unselfishness was kind of contagious. Greg, you brought up their fast break points. Their offensive system was all about tempo. Never taking a break. Wearing down the other team. Now, here's Maxi. He's got 12. Stolen by none. Schroeder outside. Lock at six. Outside Bryant, launches a three, and another three for the Lakers. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but the D still has to keep an eye on him. Maxi looking it over. And Harden now, top of the key. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on Dennis Schroeder. You know, there's a reason Harden's at or near the leaders in free throws attempted every season. You know, he's really honed in on that ability to draw fouls. He's made it virtually an art form. And he can't get the first one. You know, he can be your primary scorer, but he also can be your primary playmaker. Offensively, Harden does everything at a diamond level. Christie, he's checked in for the Lakers. Also, Westbrook comes in for Kendrick Nunn.
It's the second from the line. Lakers trail by seven. And here's Schroeder. Six points for him. Takes a three. Westbrook can't get it to go. Philadelphia's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. The feed to Embiid. From 10 feet out, bank shot, no good. Looking at Los Angeles, they want to turn it around after the loss to Dallas. Bryant finds Schroeder. Westbrook against Maxi. Back to Schroeder from outside the arc. Over to the left wing. Discano Anderson for three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Yeah, how about the body control on that one? Narrowly misses getting the deuce. Boy, he had a nice look at it after drawing the foul. Boy, it would have been nice to get an and one there. The 76ers have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. And the first one drops. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Definitely, that's one of the reasons they're in front right now. And so he hits both. And here is Los Angeles now. Nine-point game. Westbrook scanning the floor. Gets that one to drop. First one of the game after four straight misses. You know, whether it's going solo or in a set like the pick and roll, Westbrook has a knack for creating offense. Embiid from outside. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Embiid's got his third basket of the night. That was some slick passing from Harden on that one. Passes it to Bryant. Bryant with a screen for Schroeder. The pass to Toscano Anderson. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Maxi against Schroeder. Outside, Maxi. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. You know, throughout this quarter, guys, they've had no answer for him defensively. And he's been absolutely relentless. Westbrook dishes to Schroeder. It's stolen. Harden outside. Kicks to Embiid. To the middle. Here's Tucker. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. Using that strong upper body, Tucker can definitely play through contact. Timeout called the Lakers. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up.
Los Angeles making a switch here. James is checked in. With a pause in the action, let's show you the teams that were best from the line last season. The 76ers, number one. You know, they made that a point of emphasis a season ago. I mean, they spent a lot of time in practice drilling their free throws. And I think it really paid off with the best percentage in the league. Lakers trail by 14. Feeds to Westbrook. Bryant trying to free himself up, and that one's good. Westbrook. Just by nature of his style, Westbrook is going to draw contact, so he's got to be strong enough and focused enough to play through it. And he is and does. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. First free throw is good. Maxi hits them both. I like how he's dialed up his aggressiveness here, finding ways to get to the line in the second quarter. Pass to Christie. Inside. Here's LeBron. And Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got six rebounds now in the game. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. LeBron against Maxi. James, the pass to Schroeder. Over Maxi. And it's James missing. The 76ers leading by 14. Melton kicks to Maxi. Tucker a screen. Maxi into the lane. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And here's what the schedule looks like for the Los Angeles Lakers. On Monday, the Houston Rockets will come into town. Then on Wednesday, it'll be the Sacramento Kings coming into town. For Philadelphia, they have shot the ball well from the free throw line, 8 of 9. And he makes the first. One Toscano Anderson's checked in for Los Angeles. George Niang, he's checked in for the 76ers. Maxi hits them both. There's 49 seconds left in the first half of the game. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. LeBron against Harden. That's tipped, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by MB. Here's Westbrook. Last game, he had 28 points. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. LeBron James on the wing, guarded by Embiid. Schroeder against Harden. Schroeder passes to James. Embiid with the steal. Now, here is Harden to the right side. Here's Niang. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got six assists now in the game. Tyrese Maxey. He's been the guy making things happen for the 76ers. They kept going to him again and again. And he delivered with a monster quarter. 
had a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Joel, you got the lead, so how do you build on that as the game continues? Uh, just keep being, uh, being aggressive. Uh, I thought we did a good job defensively, so we just got to keep being aggressive and making plays. Hey, they always build off of their defense here. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, and we'll be back. Hey, folks, happy you joined us. The action tonight, a bit wild and a big deficit now for the Los Angeles Lakers. And they were gutting a little too much from downtown. Uh, they can't afford to become dependent on that shot. They got to compete the consistent way. I like to see them mix it up more in the second half. And let's take a moment to shift gears, check out the upcoming schedule. And Kenny, were there any specific teams you looked forward to playing? I mean, any team Shaq was on because you had to be hyped for that, you know, especially when you got Akeem, when they go on head to head. I always look forward to that. Yeah, you're you, 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 you lucky you had him, Kenny, because you were terrified to come down into the paint. Not true. I wasn't terrified. Just a little bit uh, shaky. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. And so it's Maxi with it. He brings it up for Philadelphia. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin in the game. They've got LeBron James. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Christie. And there's Bryant. And it's Toscano Anderson in at the three, the small forward. That's the group starting the second half for Darvin Ham. Bryant with a screen on Embiid. Here's James. That will fall for his seventh bucket. Seven for 15 in this game. There aren't many guys that can match LeBron when he's in a really good scoring rhythm. Asserting himself on offense is problems for the defense and good for his team. Now here's Harden. Down to five on the shot clock. And stolen by James. To the middle. Pass to Schroeder. Stolen by Tucker. Harden against Schroeder. And there's the call on James. That'll be his second foul of the game. Second half of basketball. Just over a minute played so far. Here's Harden. He watches it go through the hoop for his eighth make. Now eight for 14. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots. close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Maxi against Christie. Schroeder, right side. Just four to shoot. Over Harden. And it's Schroeder missing. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. Lakers trail by 21. Floats it up for James. Takes the alley pass and dunks it down. And man, can LeBron still get up at his age after all of those miles on his body in the NBA. Really impressive. Now, here is Harden. He's got 20. Yep, that one goes in there. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. Here's James, and they'll get another chance. Oh, 
Out of bounds. It'll be 76ers ball. Here's a look at some stats for Tucker. How he performed last season. Last year averaged seven points a game. Five rebounds and two assists. And there isn't much to write home about with his numbers. I think he'd like to up his contributions. Yeah, but you got to earn that chance. I mean, you get what you earn. His numbers are fine, but he's not going to get a lot more floor time unless he turns it up a notch. Come get it. Come get it. Come it's blocked. And they get it back. Second shot opportunity. Here's Toscano Anderson. He's been patient so far, nothing on the scoreboard yet, and it's good, two points. Yeah, you know, LeBron is such a talented finisher. The defense in that situation just unable to keep him from that shot. And Bede with a screen on Schroeder. Harden kicks to Melton. Good, it's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Los Angeles calls timeout. One of the stories here, James Harden getting it done today. Boy, he's been killing them all night, and the defense looks like it's practically packed it in. And now a look at James Harden. He's coming off an excellent season and amongst the league's top-tier scorers, top 20 in points per game. And back to him finishing runner-up in assists, his court vision, his ability to control the pace of a game makes him especially impossible to defend. Schroeder dishes to LeBron. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Passes to Christie. Six to shoot. Toscano Anderson for three. And, you know, the defense to me looked like they were okay to let him prove he could make that shot. Harden against Bryant. And beat inside. Seven points in the game. MB showing you a little force, wanting to dunk it down whenever he can. Schroeder surveying the floor. Bryant can't get it to go. 76ers have gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. Harden the pass to Melton. The pass to Maxi. Good D, good D. Going inside. Embiid trying to break loose. Maxi, no good. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. LeBron dishes to Bryant. Over Embiid. Los Angeles with another miss. And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over him. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks, Kevin. We've heard about player tracking on the court, but now shot tracking is helping players refine their strokes. It measures not just makes or misses, but the arc and the depth and the left to right direction of shots. These systems provide instant feedback to shooters and help them find the bottom of the net. Kevin, back to you. Sign me up. I, that, is a, that is a fascinating score. David, thank you. Just a case of Schroeder being a little better right there. I mean, that was good defense, but better all. And the 76ers call time Sorry. here.
here on the 2K leaderboard of the rebounding leaders from a season ago. Fifth, Joel Embiid. What a season he had in the paint. I mean, his rebounding numbers, really mind-boggling. Who wouldn't love to have a guy like that? Pass to Melton. And there's the call on one to Scott Anderson. That is his first foul of the game. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. Boy, and that'll give him a nice injection. Nothing like a rejection to get a team fired up. Philadelphia with the ball. Maxi kicks to Harden. Six on the shot clock. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And Harden is fearless. Also make gutting the defense and making them send him to the line. He just knows how to draw fouls and get himself to the strike. Shooting two. Throw good, James Harden. When you look at NBA salary numbers, Clark, some rosters are only guys on the max or the minimum, one or the other. What happened? What happened to the middle salary? Yeah, it just kind of went away a little bit, Kevin. Well, when you have enough stars on your team, they take up the whole pie, and really they deserve it. But I think you got to have role players too who are willing to take a little less the crumbs, so to speak. But when you're talking seven figures, crumbs is probably a misnomer. Here's Christie. Five points in the game. There's a screen by Bryant. Pass to Toscano Anderson. Here's Schroeder. Hands it from downtown. Schroeder's got 11 points. Schroeder has worked to become a proficient shooter off the catch. You know, that was not a strength of his coming into the league. Harden outside. Up top, MB. Yeah, another turnover, but guys on the whole, I think they've done a great job of running their offense without too many miscues. And Los Angeles with some changes. Russell Westbrook comes in for Toscano Anderson, and it's Kendrick Nunn in for Dennis Schroeder. And then for Philadelphia, George Niang, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker, time out, time out. and it's Shake Milton in for Maxi. And the Lakers Sorry. call time here. And here's a look at some stats for Westbrook. Last year... Getting it done. Averaged 18 points per, seven assists, and seven rebounds. The contributions he's been making on the floor have been a boon for this team. Great stretch of games for him. Yeah, you know, they've given him more responsibility, and he's responded. And the way he's going, I think his role is only going to increase. None with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. In the corner, it's James. From 15 feet away, that's good on the jump shot. No question, James, is the green light from anywhere. That, that mid-range is just another area where he's dangerous. Now, here's Milton. Here's Embiid. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Embiid's got four this quarter. 
Well, Shake Milton Clark is 6'5", has a seven-foot wingspan. I mean, that is insane size for a guard. It sure is, Kevin. I mean, that's um, freakish length when you're only 6'5". And it allows Milton to guard positions one through four. And I think that's critical in today's NBA with all of the switching we see defensively. So Shake's effort level helps him on defense as well. It's the wingspan and the want to that make him a versatile defender. Nailed from three-point land. James has got 24 points. Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. MB, the pass to Harden. Bucket six. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. You know, we talk about Harden's skill set, which is superb, but there's no quit in this guy. He's got a great competitive spirit. And even when you bang him and bump into him, he just muscles through that and says, play on. All right, well, look at how the points have What's been up? generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. Well, you know, they've been tremendous, I think, when it comes to sharing the basketball. You know, getting guys involved on the plays and creating offensive opportunities for everybody. Equal opportunity offense is fun to watch. Yeah, and on top of that, they've really been dialed in from deep. Just dropping triple after triple. Here's Toscano Anderson. No points in the game yet for him. It's stolen by Milton. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now, here's Westbrook. And stolen by Feibel. None against Harden. Dishes it to Embiid. That one, no good. The Lakers go the other way with it. None passes to James. None with the screen for LeBron. Back to none. Three-pointer on the way. Good, and the assist goes to James. James has got four assists now tonight. Now, Thibel. Rebound the Lakers. Toscano Anderson's got rebound number eight now on the night. Passes it to none. LeBron against Embiid. Picked away. Feibel finds Harden. And here is Milton. Back to Harden. Over Westbrook. Harden's shot is good. Harden's got 12 points in just the second half. A guy like Harden makes a coach look really good. I mean, you can rely on him to consistently give you big scoring performances. Now here's LeBron. 24 points for him. And it's blocked. Timeout called the 76ers. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Brown, he's checked in for James. And then for Philadelphia, P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for George Nian. De'Anthony Melton comes in for Matisse Thibel. And Maxie's subbed in for James Harden. The pass to Embiid. Fades. It's hauled in by Brown. Lakers trail by 21. 127 left in the third quarter. From the arc. Gets it to go. That one good from Nunn. Nunn's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Lakers. Nunn against Maxi. He's been getting to the line. Now his sixth trip in the game. And what a performance he's put in at the free throw line cash money at the stripe atm not wasting any of those chances oh, take a break and guys the take numbers don't lie i Do mean some. he was such a reliable presence at the free throw line all throughout last season
First free throw is good. Maxi hits them both. 110 left in the third. Westbrook a screen on Maxi. None passes to Toscano Anderson. Down low, here's Gabriel, and the rejection by Embiid. None against Maxi. Embiid sets the pick for Maxi. Shot from 12, and that one goes long. And none has got the ball here for Los Angeles. 26 seconds left here in the third quarter. Brown finds Westbrook. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. You know, people marvel at the explosiveness of Westbrook for good reason, but he also is pretty crafty. This guy, got, he, he's got some tricks, too. And he's got his first free throw of the game. He struggled mightily at the free throw line in their last game. Yeah, it wasn't his best performance at all from the strike. He's got to put it behind him, and I know he'd like to immediately. And you know, that's not the kind of percentage any player wants to see next to his name at the end of the season. That's good from Westbrook. Hey, you can't diminish Westbrook's triple doubles, but just as important to me are the intangibles. His passion, his tenacity, his competitive spirit and drive. I mean, that infects the whole team in a positive way. That one is no good. Now, here's Milton, defended by none. Here's Maxi, and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And they got to bring the double team on him. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Shot from 16, and the last second attempt doesn't fall. And you know, Embiid is a decorated defender, a guy who consistently brings energy on this end of the floor. And so it's Philadelphia cruising into the quarter break with a 22-point lead. They've had active hands and have forced a lot of turnovers in this one. Right back after this break. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth, they've got Harold. E.J. Tucker is out there with the Anthony Melton. Then there's Tyrese Maxey. And it's Milton in at the shooting guard. Melton passes to Harold. And he makes good on the layup. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. So here's Westbrook after the basket by Montrez Harrell. Certainly not the kind of night he was looking for at the offensive end, and it's had a ripple effect on the team. Here's Maxi. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. Yeah, you said the key word there, balanced. I mean, their big lead owes as much to their defense as their offense. 
One shot. And the free throw, no good. Clark, when you were playing, social media wasn't a thing. Uh, now that you see it through your eyes, how has that changed the game? I think it's changed it exponentially, and in many ways it's been good in terms of more people being able to be connected. You can expose more people to more of the beauty of the game. Uh, for marketing, I think it's terrific when you talk about video clips and all of the different kinds of content you can create and share globally around the game. The challenge, though, for the players is making sure that they keep the main thing the main thing, keep first things first, and not allow the noise of the Internet and social media to be a distraction. Roman here now for an injury report. Kevin caught up with the head athletic trainer for the 76ers. At this point, he's saying that it looks like a grade one sprained ankle. You don't want to hear this news as most teams are starting to hit their stride. So they're going to miss him while he's recovering from this injury. Kevin? Well, thank you, David. Hopefully, we'll see him very soon. Westbrook kicks to none. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. Maxi passes to Milton. Here's Harrell. A rebound by the Lakers. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Out to the right wing. Now, here's Nunn. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Nunn's got five points now this quarter. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Those three-point bombs will erase the deficit quickly if they can keep it up. Two points. That one goes. I'm sorry. That's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they have. Now here's Westbrook. Milton with the ball. Westbrook picks him up. Milton passes to Milton. Here's Tucker. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Greg, we know a lot of teams using former NBA officials now working as consultants to teach their players how the refs see the game. I guess always looking for that edge. Yeah, Kevin, I think it's a great a idea a because philosophically sometimes as the rules evolve, players got to learn how to evolve with them. So not getting the calls you might expect also, how you communicate with officials. I think all of that stuff plays a big role in just furthering that dynamic between the officials and the players. And the Lakers making a change here. James is checked in. Then for the 76ers, Matisse Thibault comes in for Milton. And James Harden subbed in for Maxi. And the second free throw, good. Boy, if you had the word grinder in the dictionary, P.J. Tucker might be right next to it. His energy and effort and selflessness, contagious. Now here's LeBron. And the rejection by Harold. Hey, and we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. And there's the call on Matisse Thibel. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Brown. Yeah, a hard-nosed defender. Tucker gets up into your grill and tries to intimidate you. Thibault kicks to Harden. Floats it up there for Harrell. Throws down the alley-oop slam. The alley-oop throwdown by Harrell right there, emphatically. And he fires up his teammates as well. And the Lakers with another turnover here. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. 76ers have gone 5 of 6 from the field to start the fourth quarter on a roll. Harden the pass to Harrell. Well, Greg, we're seeing high schoolers now making six figures to play basketball. I bet you wouldn't have minded that in your time, would you? 
I tell you what, it beats delivering the newspaper, right? <laughs> it's still fresh and developing, but a lot of different opportunities are emerging. Thomas Bryant is checked in for the Lakers. The 76ers also with a sub. Melton's checked in. Now here's Melton. Milton kicks to Melton. Count that one. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. LeBron with it. Defended by Thibel. Looking to end the run. And LeBron with a nice bucket inside. James has got 26 points. How many times have we seen that? I mean, LeBron going right through and into the defense and finds a way to power through the contact as if he hasn't even been hit. And, yep, that, that's going to be a flagrant foul. Unnecessary content. And, and, Kevin, I got to tell you, he's probably fortunate to just get a flagrant one there. I mean, so much contact. Shooting the two. officials easily could have gone even harder on him. Greg, I agree. He better be on his best behavior from now on. One more flagrant of any variety, and he's out of here. The first one falls. You know, what's great about Harrell is his ability to deliver whatever his team needs. I mean, he's the ideal guy to have coming off your bench. Both good from the line that time. And with the internet and social media, players Clark have so much more ability to engage with the public and be heard. Is that important? Kevin, anytime you can empower folks to share their voice, their stories, and be authentic, in their own way, I think that's a positive. Player empowerment is something that social media avails, not only to players, that's but I think to everybody. Um, it doesn't just bring attention to the game, but also causes and commitments players have to their respective communities and issues that are going on in the world. So I think Mind it can be far Mind more good than bad when One you shot. think about the platform of social media. And that one misses. Los Angeles has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Now the 76ers with it. They're on an 18-7 run. Here's Harden. On the wing, Melton. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Hard to imagine them losing this game if they can keep shooting like that. Not many empty trips for this group. It seems everything's falling for them this half. Now here's LeBron, and stolen by Harrell. Driving to the basket. They get it back. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting just 30% from the field here in the fourth. Tipped away. Milton with the ball. Milton in the corner. Over Bryant. And again, it's Philadelphia. And that set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. Simply taking advantage of what the defense has given them, and they've really made the most of it. Now here's LeBron. He kicks it to Bryant. Pass to none. Tries a three. And finished off by Bryant. Nothing soft about the putback there. And why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. Here is Harden. And we've seen not only some new trophies introduced, but, Greg, some of the existing ones have been updated. You okay with that? Oh, I am. In particular, a nice touch to have the previous winners etched into the base of the Larry O'Brien Trophy. That's a great way to connect with the history of the game. Here's LeBron. James Harden picking up that last basket. Bryant with a screen on Harden. None. Knocks down the three ball. None's got eight points in the quarter. Tell you what, guys, this has clearly been his half. I mean, he's getting to a spot, shooting the ball with confidence. Excellent turnaround for him. A shot by Milton, no good. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. Milton with the ball. He's picked up by James. Milton passes to Harden.
Pass to Milton. Fires from deep. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Here's none. Philadelphia able to drain the three. LeBron is doubled. Round kicks to none. Five on the clock. He tries for three. And again, Los Angeles with a triple. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. Harden against none. To the paint. Let's the three fly. That's his six miss and 12 field goal attempts. Now here's Milton. Tight defense on him. Fiebel, the pass to Milton. Bryant against Harrell. Shot clock at six. Passes it to Milton. Over Christie. With the putback. Harrell on the follow. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. LeBron is screen on Harden. Brown outside. The pass to LeBron. And they double up James. And there's a foul. It'll go on Shake Milton. That's foul number two for him. And the Lakers with some changes. Gabriel's checked in. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Christie. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Tyrese Maxey comes in for Shake Milton. Here's James. Got it. Good job in the low post. LeBron's got four points this quarter. And you can see when he has the basket in his sights, he's going to attack. And once he's in tight, he is a terrific finisher. Now, here is Harden. Left side, Maxey. Let's it go from deep. Another three for Philadelphia. Hey, one of the strongest part of Tucker's game is knocking down that three-point shot. He doesn't need much space to get it off. LeBron outside. Deflects the pass. Baseline jumper. Schroeder. Maxey grabs the miss. Maxey's got rebound number five here tonight. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. They get Russell Westbrook. And in this era of player movement, Greg, we're seeing guys often pick teams on fit or style of play. When they look at that, what are they looking into? Take a break. You want to have fun two coming shots. to work every day, Kevin. I mean, the money they're making, most guys are going to be set for life. But I think they recognize it's about the journey and who you have the opportunity to take that journey with. Shake Milton, he's checked in for James Harden. Maxi hits them both. And there's a minute 45 left in the fourth quarter. Schroeder, right side. Step back shot. Rebounded by Tucker. Tucker's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the 76ers. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And with this win, it gives them a sweep of the season series, even though it's just a brief two-game I tell you what, no matter how brief it is, anytime you can get a season series sweep, you're happy. And one of the league's top talents, game in and game out. And doing it here again in this one, a terrific night for James Harden. Boy, the way he orchestrated the pace was impressive. I mean, moved the ball around, made good things happen with the pass. Well done. And it's blocked by Brown. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Oh, 
and good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Harden's got 32 points. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Westbrook with a screen for LeBron. No good on the triple. Melton feeling it out a bit. Harden outside. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks, guys. James, you had it going. How confident were you all offensively? I'm just trying to do whatever it takes to win. Like, I, honestly, if I got to score a lot of points tonight, teammates were making shots, they were playing hard. Um, it was a great team effort. I, whatever the team needs me to do, I'm willing to do. Everyone was clicking tonight, man, in the show. Thanks. Talk to you guys. David, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Owens, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, James Harden.